Lanza is a Swiss company. They are a uh, provider, a supplier to the pharmaceutical, biotech, and specialty ingredients markets. But of course, as this is a global organization, this comes with a lot of challenges when it comes to data. And so Lanza Specialty Ingredients, they were familiar with the pie system. They did have local pie servers. Some of them have other historians. The idea is to collect this data into the global pie system and also collect some data sets that were previously not collected into the local historians. So lab data, and then we're also looking at some projects for IoT. So that data goes into a global data infrastructure. And then we offer a series of tools for our team, the process optimization team, and then the local sites to use to analyze that data. So what happened is that they actually decided to hire on a master's student to take a look at the data sets that were already created for that project and see if they could find uh, more room for optimization at the Mapleton plant. So what I'm gonna show to you is a couple of examples of what he's already found uh, with this data set. The red line at the top is the temperature and the green line is the temperature for the golden batch. The master student was able to find the golden batch and how the temperature profile was actually different. This improvement that he found represents a potential capacity increase of 15 to 18%. And so here's another example of what he found. So you see the red line at the top is the temperature and then the green one is the golden batch. And then the, the important one is the pressure in the middle. And what those spikes correlate with is um, dosing of a reactant in the reactor. The timing of that dosing uh, was different for the shorter golden batches than it was for the typical batches. And again, using data mining, what this master student was able to find was that the dosing actually um, correlates with the reaction time. This graph that you see here, this didn't even get into fancy data science or anything. This is just this increase in reaction time. And what they figured out was this was actually uh, a time when there were some problems with the distillation columns and they had to remove some trays and then those trays were never replaced. So clearly, again, just by looking at your data, just contextualizing it, creating these data sets and looking at the data, you could find opportunities for improvements. We've seen uh, accelerating process optimization projects, so increasing potential capacity increases of 15 to 20%. And we now have Seek, PyVision, Power BI that is uh, available to our users locally and also at our headquarters. So hopefully I'll be able to come back maybe next year and give you even more things that we've been doing. <laughs>